Hey guys, it's Elena Clare. How's it going? So for today's video, I wanted to introduce you to something that is really quite important to me, especially with all the traveling that I do. Meet my onboard bag. I recently made a video about flying tips and tricks and I thought I would go into a little bit more of an explanation of exactly what I put in my handbag. This is actually separate to my bigger onboard carry-on luggage, whatever it is that you put in the overhead compartment. This is just what I have in front of my feet and it has all of my essentials for flying so I thought I would share it with you so that you can maybe copy it, I don't know, might be useful. To start with, the bag itself. This is really quite a good bag because there's only one compartment it's huge as well so I can fit a lot in it and I can see everything at once. With bags like these you do have to be careful in the security checkout though because when you put it down if it gets knocked over then everything's going to fall out so luckily this one comes with this little magnetic doodah which seems to do the trick. First up obviously is my phone. Definitely need to have this with me because it's how I communicate. I can use Wi-Fi to connect even when I'm in a different country with the people that I need to. So this is of course essential and I'm pretty sure everyone is going to bring this. If you are going to bring your phone, you're obviously also going to need to bring your charger. If you have an iPhone, I'm sure you can commiserate with me that this battery does not last long. So I am forever hunting down little plug sockets so that I can charge up. Because of the terrible battery life of my iPhone, I also bring this, my iPhone iPod because then if I want to listen to music I can without draining the battery of that. So that I can listen to my iPod I will also bring these which are my headphones. I used to have some that were much more expensive and so they were more noise cancelling than these ones but I broke those so these will do. I like to bring these because I find that the little earbud ones that they provide you on the plane are really terrible quality of course they are they're free and they're cheap and if I bring my iPhone you know the little white earbud ones they don't really block out any of the sounds around me so I can enjoy my music and my movies more by bringing my own headphones. Of course you are also going to be wanting to bring this your wallet so that you can pay for stuff. I also have my sunglasses because you know sunglasses. In case there's no movies on the plane I want to watch and I'm sick of listening to my music, I bring this, which is my Kindle so that I can read a couple books and this is relatively light so instead of bringing four or five books and weighing myself down, I just bring this and I can choose from any of my books so I kind of love this now. Don't know why I did that. Now here is something you definitely can't do without. Well you could probably do without this but it's what's in it that you can't do without. This has my passport, it has place for my ticket, it has a place for any visa documents that I need, any medical documents that I need, anything that's vitally important to getting me on that plane and through immigration and things, I tend to bring this with me and I've got it in a very nice little envelope purse passport thing. If you watched my flying tips and tricks video, you'll know that this is coming. This is a sandwich bag filled with all of the things I'm going to need to bring with me that are liquids. As you can see, it's not a lot. I don't bother with the shampoos and the conditioners or anything like that. I basically have just a few little things that I find are my essentials for the plane. This is really noisy. In here I have a moisturizer because when I'm on the plane, my face gets really, really dry. And so I like to put a little bit of this on. If I've decided to wear makeup on the plane because, you know, I want to look pretty, then I got this from like a little freebies, I think it was a shampoo, and I rinsed it out and refilled it with eye makeup remover so that I can just take off my mascara and that way I feel more comfortable on the plane. I also have the tiniest toothpaste in the world. Um, you can get ones that are a little bit bigger but still under the liquid requirements. And this is just so that I can brush my teeth on the plane and it's amazing how much better you feel. Lastly in here I have hand lotion because again your hands get dry on the plane. I don't tend to use hand lotion actually but someone is always asking me for one so now I just bring one. If you're a girl and you want to touch up your makeup when you get off the plane at the end then also put your liquids in here like mascaras and lip glosses and stuff and then you're already prepared to go through the checkpoint. So this is something that I got when I was upgraded for free to business class the one time that ever happened to me. So. Um, that's why I have this and I keep using it if you don't get upgraded and given one of these then if you just use a toiletries bag then that's totally fine this is where I basically keep all the rest of my little goodies so my first item in that bag is a sleep mask and I find it so difficult to get to sleep on planes I really do so I try and make it as easy as possible by making it dark and I love this one obviously you get those free ones that are flat against your face but if you can kind of see this one's a little bit 
bulbous. Kind of looks like a bra, thinking about it. This is really great because when I put it on my face, like so, um, it doesn't touch my eyes. And I don't know why, but that's always bothered me, so I really like this. Socks! Also mentioned this in my video about um, tips and tricks for flying. Please do bring your socks so that your smelly feet can be hidden. And this keeps my feet warm because they are super, super long and comfy. So they're just, just my flight socks. Next up is my travel toothbrush. You can just bring a regular toothbrush, but I guess this is slightly more hygienic because it's got this little case around it. I've got some cotton pads so that I can use the eye makeup remover to remove my makeup. A teeny tiny pack of tissues so that you can use tissues. And then of course, the pen because pens are vital on planes. You need pens. You will need pens in your life at the airport. Trust me. I mean, you may not, but I always have. And finally, my last item is a pack of gum. Obviously, you want to do yourself and everyone else a favor of having fresh breath, but I find that when you have takeoff and landing, your ears pop, and gum really helps me with that. It helps to keep my ears popping so that I don't have painful ears on the way up and the way down, so. That's what I use this for. Well, that was my onboard bag. I hope that this was useful. And guys, I would love it if you would let me know in the comment section below what is your item that you cannot live without when you go traveling, especially when you're flying. Whether it's something I've already said in this video or whether it's something that I haven't and it's completely new, let me know. As ever guys, thank you so much, so much for subscribing. You have no idea what it means to me. And I am almost at 500 subscribers, which is crazy. And I have something a little special planned for when I do eventually get, hopefully, to that number. Have a great week everybody, and I'll see you again soon.